Today I want to tell you about some supplies we got for the kitchen. Uh, we bought, uh, this is from Lowe's, I'll do Lowe's first. Uh, we bought this uh, piece of plywood for underneath the uh, cabinets. There were some places that had termite damage that we have to replace. We could not find the right size boards that we needed and Kevin doesn't own a uh, table saw. So, no one's ever going to see it anyway. It's literally under the cabinets. So, uh, because we're going to take good wood from un what will be under the cabinets, and we're going to take the termite damage wood, and we're going to switch them. So, we're going to put the good wood where the termite damage was, throw that away, and then use the plywood uh, to replace it with. Uh, also, um, well, you'll see that later. Anyway, so we bought that at Lowe's. This is the molding that we chose. We bought eight of these boards. These are what, Kevin, 10 foot? Eight foot. Eight foot, eight foot boards. Um, and that's, that's the molding. Crown molding. Crown molding. And then uh, we bought uh, two buckets of paint for the ceiling. One is, we bought the Kills Latex Primer. Primer, and then what else? Another primer. And then That's actually product. the one for the ceiling, the one without the tent. Okay, and then we bought this. It has tint. It's a color-changing ceiling paint. That's for the ceiling. Yeah, it goes on purple and it dries white. We love that stuff. So right. you know where you painted the yeah. ceiling thing. Yeah, it's no like, where did I paint and where didn't I? Well, it tells you right there. And then we bought two gallons of the Valspar Reserve. Uh, we chose this color. This is called... Uh, Oatlands Subtle Taupe. It's a National Trust for Historic Preservation. They didn't. They only had this in the uh, reserve, so you had to pay. You had to buy the very, very expensive stuff to get that color. After you had already chosen that color and fallen in love with it, then you find out you have to pay more. Okay, so then we bought. This is a little extra something for Kevin's back room. He needed hooks for his tools. That has nothing to do with the kitchen. That was just... Okay, and then we bought three rollers. These are free. We bought some more masks. Uh, Kevin bought some screws. What are these for? For the window and stuff. Okay. For the floor, maybe. And then we bought two different kinds of towels. And then our total for Lowe's for this stuff that, that you've seen was $382.08. So wood is very expensive. And the paint. The right. reserve was, what did you say it was? $42? The reserve was $44 each. Yeah, which and we is bought two expensive. of those. Yeah, that's very expensive. So then Lowe's never has these corner, I mean, these uh, centerpieces. Um, if Kevin will pan around to the, the dining room. Yeah, let me, let me show you in there because we're done with this one. The center, the center, can you hear me? I can, I'll re this is the center block and Lowe's never has these. Um, in the thickness, they, they sometimes they have the really thin ones but they don't have the thick ones. So we have a really hard time finding, we only needed four and you can never find them. And here we had a hard time finding them. Uh, but there's the, and there's the corner pieces over there. But uh, it keeps you from having to miter in your long pieces of uh, crown molding. So, so anyway. So we found a place in, in locally. Uh, it's called Hardwood and More. Um, and we bought these four. I don't know if you can see them clearly. Uh, but they have the like little dental block around the bottom. We bought four of those. And then we bought the four corner pieces. And the corner pieces are different because... These are solid in the middle, whereas the ones we bought for the den and the dining room were hollow in the middle. These are solid, so uh, they're very, very heavy. But anyway, our total there was $63.60, which I don't think is bad at all. Um, it was $28 for these. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. $28 for these, $32 for the center blocks, and so that's what we got today. Okay, it is Saturday, and we didn't um, think that we would be able to get in here and paint before uh, Sunday. So, we're actually a day ahead, but we still don't have a light up here. 
so I want to put one up here until we sand everything and get all the dust done. Right. Well, and and we have to paint the ceiling. You, yeah, you, that's true. You know, you want to paint the ceiling before you get your new nice, pretty fixture. So Kevin is going to uh, the guys finished today. They're paid for, done. Um, like I've said before, I'll have all the totals for everything um, at the end of the series. Uh, but they came in here and they sanded everything down. Um, and right now, Kevin is going to paint the ceiling. This is Kiehl's latex paint uh, that I just showed you a while ago. In the um, This is the non-tinted one. Non-tinted. And then this is for the walls. And it is tinted for the walls. Um, so that it will take, the walls will take the color we bought better. So um, he's going to start right now on that ceiling. Okay, Kevin, this is primer. This is not the color of the paint. Um, he's uh, painted the ceiling. Of course, like I said, we'll do that again. Uh, are you going to do that again tomorrow with the color? The actual paint, yeah. The paint color? Purple. Uh, pur yeah, it's purple and it dries clear. We love it. But this isn't, isn't the actual paint color. This is just proper. Because uh, right now it looks a little lavender. But you see our little friend. Our best buddy had to have his bed in here. So anyway, while Kevin's been doing that, I've made messes. I've been trying to get all the... Um, well, we pulled the trim, you pulled the trim off. I pulled the trim off, but what is the caulking? Yeah. I've been getting that off from around the window, and I think I still need to work on the top of this one. But that's been my job, so to, to prepare the windows. Yeah, we took all this off. Okay, it is Sunday afternoon, and Kevin came in here to paint earlier, and he saw some kind of a, a, bubble. a bubble, right? It's right up from here. There's a blue, like a line, yeah. it's right at the end. Right here, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that through the camera, or whoops, or not. Uh, probably not, there's but there's also, there's another one over here, so anyway, our drywall guy told us that that could happen, there might be some bubbling. And he told us that he would come back tomorrow afternoon after work and fix that if that happens. So, Kevin is going to, are you going to save the um, ceiling for tomorrow when he leaves them? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and paint everything. But the, everything but those areas? There, there's like some lines and stuff. I'll probably paint all around that square right there, that rectangle. Okay. I'll probably do all of this and all that because really the only really problem area was where they had to patch in above that chimney, mm -hmm. where they had to do the most drywall stuff. That's right. where I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just thinking drywall. you're getting a roller dirty and then you're gonna have to paint. You'll it's have okay. to save I'll put it. put it in a bag or something and put it in the freezer. Oh, okay, okay. And so are you gonna paint the walls today too? Um, the yeah. color? Yeah, because the walls are in really good shape. I, mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with No, the I didn't see anything. I, I've been true. over and over and I don't see anything wrong with so. I told him this morning, I said, I hope our paint color isn't this color because this kind of looks violet, but our paint color is completely different. Uh, you know, she just, um, yeah, our, this is our paint color, so it's completely different. Yeah. Um, she was just making up a color for us so we'd be able to tell where we painted it. Right. Um, and I, I always wonder, I don't know why on TV you see people, they'll get brand new cabinets and then they'll paint after. I don't know why they do that. So maybe once we get our cabinets in, I mean, I'm sure that they'll scratch the wall a little and we'll have to touch up, but I don't know why you would bring brand new cabinets into a room and then paint. And that try not to, yeah, try not to get paint on any of your cabinets. I just wouldn't do, I don't know why they do that. So maybe we'll find out why on our own if we make a mistake, <laughs> if we learn, so. But anyway, this is the pink. For the ceiling. Yeah, I should have got him shake it up too. Forgot. And when he puts um, when he puts uh, some of this on the ceiling, I'll show you how it looks when it's wet, uh, because it dries really a nice crisp white. Uh, but it's great that it's pink because then you know when it is dry. And here comes okay. Curious George. Last time we were doing the den, uh, he was a baby. He was a little bitty, and he did he jump into the? He walked, He stepped right in the paint. paint. Yeah, he stepped in. It was full of paint, green paint. Yeah. And he stepped in it. And then he like had conniptions all over the place, 
rolling around, flipping and running and ran all through the house and painted all of us. Yeah, it was horrible. Horrible. We had to take him in the bathroom <laughs> and clean him, give him a bath, basically, and he was having a fit. So he has not learned, clearly. He doesn't remember that. It's scary, Kevin. <laughs> Ashley's good at scaring him. So anyway, I'm going to let him get some of this on the ceiling, and then I'll show you how it looks. That's a lighter pink than that. I remember it being brown. Maybe it was a different brand. Before. I bet it was a different brand. I bet it was. Because the time before it was really, really Yeah, I bet hard. it was a cheaper brand. Uh, this is the Valspar. Yeah, it's um, Valspar Ultra Color Changing Ceiling Paint. Paints on purple, dries white. Could be a little darker. Yeah. Um, the other brand was darker, but you can I still tell. Know. Yeah, you can definitely still tell the difference. Okay, this is the first coat of the kitchen color. Uh, Kevin went ahead and painted the entire ceiling, um, and then. Um, yeah, I think there's only just a few spots he's got to worry about. Right. So he went ahead and did it all. I mean, he had the, he said he had everything out. Why not? But this is. Uh, yeah, I might have been able to do it with just a brush. This is a really nice color. I think this is very suitable for a kitchen. What do you think, Kevin? Oh yeah, I like it. It's still more beigey than I was expecting. It is more beigey. I think it'll grow a little darker too. So. Yeah, I was looking for more of a gray color, but this is nice, and the gray color I think would have been too dark. Yeah, Don't you, Kev? This will look good with the dark Yeah. We actually had the air pocket here. Uh, today's Monday. We had the air pocket here, and so we called our drywall guy over, and he came and fixed it here, and then there was another one here. But he said this one was a pretty uh, big gash, so uh, they might even, they're going to come back tomorrow, and they might even do something else with it. So we'll see. So Kevin was gonna paint uh, the ceiling and walls again tonight, so he's not going to now because that has to dry. Instead, he's gonna go ahead and stain this wood because it doesn't take that long once you get doing, uh, to doing the work. It it's, it's, goes pretty fast. And he's gonna stain these first. We're using the exact same stain that we used in the dining room. It makes things really easy. Um, if you're going to stain wood, I would uh, keep a, a can of the stain. That way you know what color you got. This is the Kona. And that way you can use it if you're going to stain again in your house. You never know. Just I'm the same way with white paint. Um, once I got my white paint chip for my baseboards in my first room, I kept it in my purse. I still have it in my purse. And that way, when you have to paint the next room, your baseboards are going to be the same color white. They're not going to be um, a shade off or something. So, when he gets started on this, I will show you how it looks. This is how it looks when it's stirred up. It wasn't stirred up before, so. Of course, if you've watched the dining room video, then you know how pretty this is going to turn out. But these have a lot more detail than the dining room. Um, I think these are going to look really good. Yeah, I don't think they filled their nail holes in as good as the... I don't think, the, think you'll be able to... You won't be able to see that though no. once you get them on the ceiling. Well, once I get them up there, I'll have my own nail holes in there. Yeah. If I have to, I'll fill them up with putty or something. Do you want me to get those other ones for you and bring them in here? Um, I noticed you left them in there. The corner ones? Yeah, I just didn't know if I'd have room to put them on the plastic. Well, if I move that, you will. That's holding on the plastic. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I wanted that just so I wouldn't, wouldn't accidentally push the plastic off into the floor and have this sitting on our countertop. Right. Thing. I wonder if I did it with a brush last time. Maybe yeah, I did. A brush? Who mm -hmm. grabbed that paintbrush right there? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember. I 
It seems like I did, but I don't. I, can't I think swear you to did. It. I think you did. Because the brush really got down in the yeah. cracks a little bit better. Um, Any I hate brush. to use a good brush though. Um, um, use this brush. That's the one you just used. It's got water in it. Oh, don't use that one then. I use this one. This one may, looks like it may have some stain already on there. I think it'll be a lot quicker with a brush too. Mm, that one's got... No, bubbles. That one's got like water or something. Yeah, it. it's making bubbles. You know what? I've used two different brushes That's though. That's probably then. I just use it with a rag. I just don't want to put any water in there. I'll use this. No big yeah, deal. that's the one I use because it's dripping. So you would probably have been fine with a regular brush. I'm sorry. Okay, this is how these look um, with the wood stain on them. And tomorrow we will uh, cover them with a clear uh, polyurethane um, once they're they're dry. We'll let him them uh, sit all night and. Um, and then dry. And now Kevin has his uh, saw horses set up in here. Um, we're just in the kitchen. And um, is it a kitchen when there's nothing in here? No cabinets? No refrigerator? <laughs> oh, no. The it's designated a, room. Yes, it's still a kitchen. So then he'll do this and you, you put it on and by the time he gets to the end he'll probably be able to come back and then wipe it off. Okay, the uh, drywall guy, a uh, different one came today. Today's Tuesday, and um, he finished up the ceiling. We're hoping this is all that we'll have to have worked on, and then tomorrow he's going to sand, and that should be it for the ceiling. Um, and Kevin is polyurethaning uh, these wood pieces. He's he just finished these, so they have to dry overnight. And as you can see, they're they're beautiful. And then he's starting on these boards right now. And this is how they look. They're pretty like this. They're very pretty. You could leave them like this if you wanted to. Um, they're just not as shiny. Um, but they'll dry. Uh, they'll be nice and shiny. And they'll look very, very pretty just like the dining room uh, once we get them up. But this is really short work, isn't it, Kevin? It doesn't take long. You have to you have to make sure it doesn't have too many air bubbles in it. And it may have to do another coat tomorrow. But oh, really? Maybe. We'll, I don't know. We'll to I think in the dining room we only did one coat. No, I had to do two. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I had to go back over areas that like uh, were thin and dull and things like that. Oh, I just don't know. Which wasn't a whole lot. I didn't have to hit the whole thing. Right. Well, as you can see, it, it does make a huge difference. So that's what we're doing today, and uh, that'll be it today, won't it, Kevin? Okay, it is Thursday, and Kevin is, um, he's primed the ceiling again, and he is painting over my head. He is, he has earphones, earbuds in, so he can't hear me. Uh, but he is painting the ceiling, and hopefully this will be the last coat. We hope so, and uh, this will actually be just like the second coat. And then he's going to paint the walls one more time. So you remember he did the primer and then the paint, and so this will be one more layer of paint. And then we might even get to start the molding tonight. Andrew brought the uh, big boy downstairs, the nail gun. Uh, from the attic, so uh, we're all set. I made sure that was down here before Andrew left, so um, hopefully, we'll, it all depends on how much light we have in this room, honestly. We're not trying to, um, if there was light in the room, we would say the molding will definitely be up tonight, but um, we didn't want to buy a light. I didn't, at least, until all this paint was finished and until the floor is finished because you get so much dust coming up from the floor uh, when he refinishes these that um, it would just be all over a new light fixture. So we've kind of been waiting 
and um, hopefully we'll get to do something with these floors tomorrow maybe if everything's ready so we'll see okay it is 618 the second coat of paint just went on and so um, we'll take a break to eat and we'll see how light it is outside if it's light enough in here Kevin might um, might uh, still want to put up molding we'll see um, he doesn't think that I'm going to need to do the corners right now it's it's a uh, fresh paint so it, it's going to look different but we'll see how it looks when it dries I don't know if we'll get to do the molding today or not we'll just have to see how much it dries by the time we finish eating dinner it is Friday and Kevin is putting up um, starting the molding um, we've uh, he finished the paint last night um, that's okay but we since we don't have a light in here we just we've lost a lot of time I feel like because we've lost we haven't had the light so we're gonna start the molding this is the first piece this corner piece are you going to put up all, all the corner pieces first in the center box? Yeah. Okay. And then fill it in? Then fill in the, the wall pieces. Okay. This is how the molding looks so far. These are the center blocks. And then this is the wall over the door. And that's how that looks. And then we have this one in. So it's, I think it's going to be really pretty.